You have volunteered for a covert assignment with Special Operations Command in conjunction with Galactic Terran Pursuit Intelligence. Our primary objective is to provide the Alliance with accurate and comprehensive information regarding the tactics, technologies, activities, and strategic objectives of forces hostile to the GTVA. Missions with the Special Operations Command are carried out deep in enemy territory with minimal logistical support. Our behind-the-lines activities include infiltration, sabotage, surgical strikes, and intelligence gathering. You will be working undercover within the Neo-Terran Front, leading Alpha Wing of the 185th Fighter Squadron. Your contact in this mission is Lieutenant Commander Christopher Snipes, an Allied officer who staged his defection to the NTF six months ago. As squadron leader of the 185th, Snipes will advise you of your mission objectives both as an NTF pilot and as an Allied operative. You will be equipped with a device that will enable you and Snipes to communicate over a secure frequency in battle. NTF ships will interpret your transmissions as targeting data. The focus of this covert operation is the NTF's ETAC project. Because access to information is restricted to the highest echelon, our knowledge here is limited. ETAC involves the development of a new cutting-edge technology, possibly a weapon of mass destruction. Admiral Bosch oversees the project directly, and the Rebels are constructing a prototype on the Iceni command ship. We need to get a closer look. Even a scan of the Iceni would be valuable. We are working with the full cooperation of the Sudan Tactical Command and the Terran 6th Fleet. The probability that you will engage Allied fighters will be minimal. However, should you come under Allied attack, you have limited authorization to return fire and self-defense or to complete your mission objectives as defined by Lieutenant Commander Snipes. Show restraint and use your judgment. This is Lieutenant Commander Snipes. For all you replacement pilots, welcome to the 185th. As you know, Admiral Koff's defeat in Epsilon Pegasi has opened the Polaris system to Allied attack. At 1425 hours, GTVA expeditionary forces crossed our Jumno blockade. The Colossus won't be far behind. Bosch isn't taking chances. We're moving the Iceni command ship to the regular system, where Bosch will install his provisional government. We've practiced this drill before, pilots. Alpha and Beta Wing will escort the Iceni to the jump node. Delta, you're on standby. The Regulus node is located within a small asteroid field. Our job is to clear a path. Asteroids on a collision course with the Iceni will be indicated in white brackets on your HUD. That's how you know which asteroids to shoot. The gunners on the Iceni will help us out, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Alpha-1, you copy. We're on a secure channel. We need a scan of the Iceni. Target the warship and close to 600 meters. Keep the ship's lead indicator in the center of your reticle. What's that science cruiser doing out here? NTF Command never briefed me about it. Must have something to do with ETAC. That's strange. I don't know what any of this means. We'll see what our analysts come up with back home. Nice job, pilot. Never know what you're gonna find till you take a look. Allied forces now jumping in. We've got a Mentu class cruiser with fighter escort and a wing of bombers. All units, defend the IC. Alright, kids, here's the game plan. We'll take up fighters and bombers first and blast that cruiser back to the Suda Prime. Nothing's wrong here. Command service is going to swing attack until the IC to left Polaris.
that depends on it.
Good job, pilots. Admiral Bosch and the Iceni have reached the regular system. Let's get back to base on the double. Alright, pilot, I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is we got the Iceni to Regulus. The scan data you collected has been transmitted to the GTVI, and our operation to uncover the secret of ETAC continues as planned. The bad news is we're in a lot more danger than I think you realize. The Basudan warships were under the command of Admiral Amos, who had full knowledge of our activities. The fact the Basudans knew the exact time and position of the Iceni's departure has made the rebels just a little suspicious. As usual, the GTVA is overplaying its hand. Amos and his subordinates now face a court martial for insubordination. The Rebs are all over that one. Not only did the Admiral know the position of the Iceni, he wasn't authorized to act on that information. Our squadron will be high on the NTF's list of suspects. One more thing. The pilots under Amos's command had been informed of his renegade status before they launched their attack. Under these circumstances, we had little choice but to return fire or blow the entire operation. Watch your back, pilot. This ain't going to get any easier.